Hey there, and welcome to another Soundtrap walkthrough. The best way to learn from these videos is to view, pause, and imitate. View means watch what is being demonstrated in the video without copying at the same time. It's important to keep your attention on the concept being explained and demonstrated. When this screen comes up, you can pause the video. The concepts just explained will be listed on the screen, so while the video is paused, you can then imitate and explore the concept which was just shown. As a side note, if any templates are used in this walkthrough, feel free to use a different template or your own song because Soundtrap regularly update, updates their templates and the one used in the walkthrough may not be available anymore. All right, let's begin with another Soundtrap walkthrough. And welcome to our video tutorial on mixing. Now, mixing is a really important thing to do when you are making your songs because if you don't mix the song properly, it's not gonna sound as great as it could sound. So what mixing is, is making sure the volumes of all of the instruments are balanced properly in your song. So you wanna make sure that you can hear all the instruments, but there might be some instruments that you wanna hear a bit more of, and there's some instruments that you wanna hear a bit less of. So the best way to start describe this is just like if you were making a pizza. So let's say we've got three ingredients. We've got mushrooms, chilies, and tomatoes. What we wanna do, we wanna make a perfectly balanced pizza with those three ingredients. So if I took those three ingredients and I put exactly the same amount of each ingredient on the pizza, Yes, every ingredient is there equally. However, that may not mean that it's balanced. If you've got the same amount of chilies as the same amount of mushrooms, it's gonna be really, really spicy. Or if you don't have enough tomato on it, it may not have the flavor that you like. So making it balanced, is making sure that maybe you've only got just a little bit of chili, whereas you've got a lot more mushrooms and tomatoes. However, everybody's balance is a little bit different as well. So some people might like a bit more chili than others, or some people may not want chili at all. So there's an overall balance that we need to get right, but then there's little tweaks that would be your personal preference as well. So then if we transfer that idea across to music and if you think of a band, we've got our instruments here and you can think of each instrument um, just like an ingredient, like on our pizza. We wanna make sure that each of those instruments are balanced towards the other instruments. So we need to be able to hear all the instruments just like we need to be able to taste all the ingredients and then we can make small tweaks to maybe have the vocals a little bit stronger so that we can hear them more clearly over the top. Or maybe if you've got the guitar, you might just wanna turn that down just a little bit so it's a bit more in the background rather than the main focus. So let's jump it straight into it. We have Soundtrap here and I'm gonna jump into the studio and I'm actually gonna use a template you can use any of the templates for this or you could use your own song, but I'm just gonna use the dubstep template that is here. Okay, and just to make it easier to follow along with what's going on, I'm just gonna get rid of some of these tracks really, really quickly because just to make it a bit simpler to follow along. And we're just gonna use the first eight bars. So I'm just gonna zoom in just a little bit uh, there we go, and I'm gonna turn the looper on, so that way we're just listening to those eight bars. Uh, to begin with, let's see what we're working with. Let's have a listen. So we've got a couple of instruments playing there, and what we're gonna do is we're going to mix them. We're going to put them at different volume levels to make sure that it's evenly balanced so that we can hear all the instruments that we need to. Now, to do this, you've actually got two ways that you can control the volume of your instruments. So let's have a look. Firstly, you can go to each individual instrument or track and you actually have the volume dial here. So if I click on it and hold, and then I'm gonna drag it up or down, I can actually change the volume here. Let me just show you how this actually works. So if I drag it all the way down to the bottom, that's actually zero. And if you have a look, it looks like it's about 7.30 if that was a clock. So that's where zero is. But then if I click and drag all the way, oh, whoops, if I click and drag all the way to the top, that is 
volume and that's actually going to what's that look like that looks like 430 on a clock all right so we've got our zero or a hundred and then you can move it to anywhere in between to change those instruments so each individual track has its own volume control but there's also another volume control that changes all of the volumes together and that is called the master volume down the bottom here so if i play my track have a look what you notice you can see that there is actually a, some colors coming up that's called the meter that's coming up to show us what those volumes look like when they're all mixed together, when they're blended together. And what you wanna aim for is you want all of your instruments to aim for that li this middle part here where this, uh, where this dial is at the moment. So if I play my song, it's just a little bit soft at the moment. It could probably become just a little bit louder. And I could actually control it by dragging this one up here and by dragging it down here. So it controls all the instruments together. Now, if you actually drag that around and have a little go of that, what you'll actually realize is that it actually finds a natural groove where it wants to sit into. It kind of clicks into place. You want to leave it pretty much there all the time. You're not going to play with the master volume too much. What you want to do is you want to keep checking to see where that meter level is going to because that's really, really important. As I said before, you want to aim for the volume to be around this section up here. If it gets too loud, it'll actually start to change color and that's when you're going to start to get a bit of distortion coming through your track. Now, that's something that you might want but there's better ways to do that with effects because otherwise all you're going to do is you're going to blow up your speakers or your headphones all right so uh, let me just show you that if I turn all of these instruments up really really loud and then if I bring this all the way have a look what happens you can see that it's starting to go into the yellow And if I actually duplicate some of these tracks so I've got more of them, it's going to make it even louder. And you can see it's stuck there in the yellow. And you can hear it, it's actually starting to distort and it doesn't sound great. Yeah, so that's what you want to avoid. So what you want to try to do is to keep the volume at the level just around here where it's maybe there's one or two little peaks where it starts to go a little bit yellow but other or red but otherwise you really 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 want to keep it just in this area here if it's down here for the whole song it's too soft you want to make sure that you bring it up okay so how are we going to do this well to begin with i'm actually going to turn all my instruments off so i'm going to bring all of their volumes down to zero Great, so this gives us a really good place to start with. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go one instrument at a time and there's actually a really good order to go through your instruments. So you wanna start with your drums first, then you wanna to head to your bass instrument, you wanna to move to your chordal instrument, and then you want to add any of your melody instruments over to the top. And as you're adding each instrument, you're going to use your eyes and your ears to hear and see if the balance is right. So let's do that one step at a time. So let's start with the drums first. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to play the track. I'm going to slowly bring the volume up to where I think a good bass volume is. Um, and I'm just going to kind of aim to be maybe just a little bit below where we want because the more instruments we get, the louder it's going to get. So let's have a go. Yeah, so I like it sitting around there. So I'm happy with the volume of that drums. Now what I've actually got next is some tops, which is some percussion. So that would actually fit in with your drums as well. All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring the tr start a track again, but I'm going to slowly bring these tops up until I like the sound of it, of how it balances with the other drums. Let's just have a listen to that by itself so we know what it sounds like. 
and then if we add it back in, yeah, so I actually like it there. But if you have a look, it's a really different balance to where the other one was. If I brought it up to where the other drums were, you get to hear that it doesn't sound right. So it's all out of balance. You hear how the drum seems softer now? I don't want that right in the front of my face. I just want it just a little bit in the background. So I'm gonna bring it back to where that was. Great, I'm happy with that. Let's go to the next instrument, we'll be, which will be the bass one. And I can actually click and drag that bass instrument so it's a bit higher. Let's have a listen to it by itself first. Oh, hang on, the volume's not up. Let's have a listen to it by itself. Okay, so let's add that in with the rest of the track. Here we go. Yeah, can you hear that? If I bring that right up, it sounds way too loud. It sounds out of balance with the drum, so I'm gonna bring it back down. Yeah, so look at that, isn't that interesting? Those three instruments that we've done so far, we've got them in really, really different places, but together they actually sound balanced. So maybe the dubstep tops you could think of a, a bit more like the chili. It's great, I love it, but I don't want it to overpower everything else. Let's bring the next thing in. So we're gonna to go to our chords now. With this is a piano. Let's just have a listen to the piano by itself first. All right, so let's add that in slowly. Here we go. Yeah, I like it sitting around there, I think. Oh, a little bit more. And I'm actually just gonna bring the bass down just a little bit. So you might find, as you bring in new instruments, you might realize that the balance goes off a little bit with another instrument. So you're gonna keep making little adjustments, but it's just about experimenting to see what you like. Now the last one is our melody. This is the main part of the song that you want the focus to be on. So this you actually probably want, not the loudest, but you want it the most in focus so that people's ears go to it naturally. If it's too soft, there's no point having a melody part. So let's just have a listen to it by itself first. So we want to find the volume for that. So it's not too loud, but it's still at the front of the focus of the song. So if I had it here, it's got a good balance with everything else. You can hear all the instruments, but it's not right at the front. I want it right at the front of the song. If I put it really loud, let's see what happens. Yeah, it's gone right out of focus. Now it's got way too much. So let's bring that down a little again. Find that, just that sweet spot. Yeah, so you can see there, it was just a small technique of adding one instrument in at a time and just constantly adding and adjusting. So you might think, oh, I want all the instruments to be heard, so you just bring them all to the top volume. But you can see there, that's not gonna work. You have to go through each one individually. And I'm just keeping an eye on the master volume down here. It hasn't crept up to the top here. If you have a look, it's sitting around the middle here. It can probably just come up a little bit. So what I could do is I could either adjust each of these to be just a little bit louder, or the easiest way is to actually just lift it up here. 
just a little bit. And now I can see that that's sitting just around this area, which is what I wanted. So there you go, there is a demo of mixing. What it is, is it's looking for the balance of all of the instruments so that they work together to create the song that you want. And just like that pizza, that you wanna make sure that it's in balance as a general sound, but then you might like a bit more chili than other people, or you might like a bit more mushrooms. So you can make your own little tweaks as well. And depending on the way that you mix the song, it's gonna have a really different character about it. Well, you're going to be doing it throughout your song. So if you're adding in different sounds to your track, you want to make sure that those sounds are balanced straight away. So that's going to give you a better idea of how your song is actually sounding. But then what you want to do is you want to do a mix at the end as well. So once you've got all of your tracks in there, they're going to be roughly mixed as you're going, but it's a really good idea to give it a proper mix right at the end, just to give it those little tweaks to make it the best that it can possibly sound. And thanks for watching another Soundtrap walkthrough. If you enjoyed this video, you can like and subscribe. And why not check out some of our other Soundtrap walkthrough videos.